What is up? What is good, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. As per usual, welcome back to more esports talk. My name is Jake. What is your name? That's cool. And what a better way to start the week than a FaZe Clan topic and a FaZe Clan story. If you guys are avid viewers of the channel, we cover FaZe Clan amongst many other organizations, probably the most out there, because they always have some great stories. And I don't know where TMZ always records these guys, but I swear it's always the same alleyway, at least the past three or four times we've covered them. That being a TMZ interview by the FaZe Clan president, which, by the way, I don't know if I'm the only one speaking from this I had no idea who their president was or if they even had one he now shows his face to make a blanket statement and a bold one at that which I am super curious the debate around this as he goes on to state in kind of a longer way that eventually yes esports pro players and pro athletes however you do want to classify them will actually be making as much if not more as NFL players and other top sports out there what do you guys think about this? Here's what the FaZe Clan president had to say about that. I posed the question to Offset. I want to ask it to you. Sure. Do you have any information about like sports leagues being concerned about the growth of esports taking in like their market share? Well, look, I know they, they must be somewhat concerned because, I mean, a, a number of them are investing in, you know, a lot of these closed leagues teams and Overwatch and like Call of Duty are actually owned by sports franchises. So they must be seeing that as sure. the future. Um, I don't know the exact stat, but the amount of time being consumed by, you know, 14 to 20 year old males watching video games is getting close to surpassing regular sports. So, you know, the world is virtual and they were going more and more right. online. So there's without a doubt, uh, you know, if you're a sports team, if you want to be part of the future, you have to get involved. In fact, we have a great relationship with Man City, who's, you know, one of the most biggest and most famous soccer clubs or football clubs in the world. We did a, you know, big drop with them. We had a big event with them and uh, at their stadium. They wore, the actual soccer players wore the FaZe Clan stuff onto the field, which was an amazing thing. Let's talk about salaries. Yeah. Salaries in, in esports versus say like the NFL. Yeah. Is it surpassing the NFL? Not yet. Not yet, but there's different ways to make money because, you know, generally you get paid a salary in in the uh, NFL or something like that, you're getting paid to go on and play on the field. You get your endorsement deals and everything else. The way we work as an organization is we go out and we do a lot of that stuff for them. So there's, and they also, one of the fascinating things I think about esports is that, you know, you're watching the players play on the field, but when they're practicing, you're not getting a lot of fans. What we'll have is someone streaming on Twitch playing Fortnite for 14 hours straight. That's them practicing, and they'll have hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people watching them. You know, you know, play and interact, and they get to interact with their fans, and it's almost entertainment. It's really this like amalgamation of both like pop culture, you know, actual sports, and and you know, classic entertainment. And I remember when I first saw this headline, you know, I thought that's a bit extreme, right? I think we're definitely a far ways away, and I think he understands that too. But is he right in the long, long term? Most likely, right? We already look at our top CSGO pros, our top, I guess you could say a few Overwatch pros out there, and especially when it comes to CSGO, making 500K plus a year for the top players, and that's a handful of guys likely making that much or close to that amount. We look at the top League of Legends athletes out there or pro players out there now making upwards of over a million dollars a year. There's a few Koreans, a few Americans, you know, Huni the like now making some big money out there. Huni alone signing a $2.3, $2 million deal. Those deals alone are actually amounting to and actually surpassing many NFL, NBA, MLB, whatever pro athletes out there you want to classify and compare to, at least a few of those players are making more than traditional sports athletes. And yes, they might be the lower sports athlete side, but we already have many esports pros making more than some sports players out there, which is a good start to the future. And we'll see exactly what that future does hold. I know we've already talked about though, the esports bubble we've talked about and will today as well talk about esports organizations who already can't pay their players as it is. So certainly this will be a long-term play, but evidently in the future, the way, way future, what the FaZe Clan president did say is, is likely true. So I'm not going to knock it too much, guys. It's, just, it's crazy to see that kind of headline and then think about it and say that's actually believable for the long-term future, that yes, one day esports pros will make more than traditional sports pros, and I can only hope that's true. What do you guys think and why? As always, my name is Jake, breaking down esports gaming news here every single day, all day long. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Let's get this week rolling, why don't we? All right, ta-ta.